What is up guys, Prodigy here, and two days ago Bungie released their new weekly update. With this one, they are letting us know that we are getting update 2.1 Point one and some of the stuff we're getting with it so first things first the update is coming out february 9th it's gonna bring the whole valentine's event i think imajiggy so the tower is gonna be all red and stuff from there we're also getting a new game mode called crimson doubles if you don't know anything about crimson doubles it's gonna be 2v2 and the cool thing about it is that when your teammate dies you become enraged with the broken heart buff when you find yourself alone in the fight, you gain maximum ratings for your armor, agility, recovery, and weapon handling speed. So if your teammate dies and you're the only one alive, you become a beast just by staying alive. From there, you just have to go clutch the 2v1 or I guess revive your teammate. I wonder if your buff dies off once you revive your teammate. I don't know, most likely it does. They also tell us about some changes coming to 3v3 game modes regarding special ammo on how we won't be spawning with any of it anymore. So it's gonna work like I believe like Inferno, I believe Clash, you would do not spawn with any special ammo. So every 3v3 game mode is going to work the same way, including trials in the future. Two more things left guys, and that is the PvE and another playlist coming to Crucible. The playlist that's coming to Crucible is all the game modes that we normally know, but no teammates. It's called Freelance, I believe it is, and it's gonna be this playlist where you can play Clash, Control, rift all the normal game modes including the 3v3 game modes and you're going to be able to do it by yourself no teams allowed no fire teams allowed and it's just for the people that have been asking for it for a while and the final thing is regarding pve they are patching two little glitches in the king i guess two big glitches in the king's fall raid and number one is the runner there's this weird glitch where the camera positioning would restore to its default position while running around picking up those orbs and it'll mess up a lot of people and the second thing that's pretty big in there is the teleporting ogres man that is annoying where you're doing the challenge and for some reason one of the corner ogres will just teleport all the way to the middle of the map and then just up the whole rotation anyways guys this is a lot of the changes coming with the update on february 9th hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you can please leave a like if you're new to the channel make subscribe i'll see you guys later peace